In this example, I'm going to show you how to uh, calculate the door height. So here we want to make sure that the tallest person can fit through that door. So this is a situation where we're going to use design for fit. Now body dimension, we're going to use the stature height. Now a lot of you may be not familiar with this. This is the same thing as standing height. Now if you are watching this video, If you are watching this video, then you probably know what is stature height is. However, uh, standing height is the stature height. User population, if I can fit the tallest male, then female will fit automatically. So in that case, male is the user population, a population percentile. I consider this is a safety issue. Somebody he might hit their head in the door and then they might get hurt. So I would say that's a percent kind of safety issues i'm going to go for 99 percentile now anthropometric data i have just collected that so i have converted this stature height in another video check that uh, video how to convert it so i have basically uh, get that population percentile and convert it to 99 percentile and that came out 77.93 so i'm going to just copy here and paste so that is the um, the height for a 99 percentile male. Now clothing allowances. This is from the Stephen Fison book. So um, you can see the whole list of clothing allowances for each of the body dimension. I'll post a link of that text in the OpenEducator.com so you can see and check the reference. So the clothing adjustment for men because we are using men one inch for the shoe heel and then 1.4 inch for the um, protective helmet if it's a regular helmet the standard value for this is uh, only one inch uh, however someone might argue that somebody may have a lincoln hat or something which is about six six inches long um, now it is, this is very unlikely that someone will have that hat um, this must tall a 99 percent tallest person will wear a link on hand and of course depends on the time we are talking about in these days people really don't use that tall hat the tallest you can have probably the construction helmet which is about 1.5 inch um, correction so the total would be some of this all of these values so that will give me the door height now this 80.3 is actually our classroom door height which we have just measured just few minutes ago so this is the classroom door height now in my office i have just came and measure it it's about 95 or 93 i think it's 93 uh, inches tall now so it depends on the situation however this 80 inches is about the minimum door height that you should know you should have for kind of safe uh, going in and out through that door in the next example i will show you how to uh, design the non-adjustable chair height